10 Chinese and 10 Taiwanese ships are currently involved in an intense standoff near the Taiwan Strait's median line. China now warning Taiwan it is, quote, ready to fight. China, Taiwan temperatures peak in the Taiwan Strait. China is raising the specter of war again, all because Taiwan's president had a meeting. The United States has called on China to show restraint. The Taiwanese president asked for more weapons. China was even more upset. It is now threatening a, quote, unquote, resolute response. This is probably the closest China has come to launching a full invasion on Taiwan. Over 200 Chinese aircraft flew around the island and crossed the Taiwan Strait Median Line. All this is happening because Beijing is unhappy with the USA. In fact, things have gotten so tense that on Monday, China simulated sealing off Taiwan. The United States deployed a naval destroyer into Beijing claimed waters in a show of force. So in this video, let's go over what the USA did to piss off Xi Jinping and why China doesn't want to invade Taiwan. As I mentioned before, if you're watching my videos, I have a non-negotiable request for you. You have to hit that like button. Sort of like a gentleman's agreement. So let's start. Now, as many of you already know, China and Taiwan's history is long and complicated. If you want the full history, you can watch my video on the topic. But for this video, let's start with what pissed off the CCP. So last week, Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, decided to visit Taiwan's diplomatic allies, Guatemala and Honduras. On the way back from this trip, she decided to make a quick stop in the USA and meet with US House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Now this meeting is the whole reason for the aggression that China is showing. The meeting has prompted an angry reaction from Beijing, which has called it a provocation and threatened retaliation. Before Ing Wen's arrival, Taiwan's defense ministry said it had detected a Chinese carrier group moving into Taiwanese waters. But of course, this didn't stop Tsai Ing Wen or McCarthy from meeting. The US even warned Beijing not to use the normal visit as a pretext for hostile action. Beijing claims Taiwan is a province of China, which it has not ruled out using force to annex, and has accused Tsai Ing Wen and her government of being separatists. Tsai Ing-wen says Taiwan, which is an independent, functioning democracy, is already a sovereign nation, and its future is up to its people to decide. In retaliation to this meeting, the Chinese military announced the start of a three-day combat readiness patrol as a warning to Taiwanese who want to make the island's de facto independence permanent. The CCP also imposed a travel ban and financial sanctions against those associated with Tsai Ing-wen's US trip. During its three-day military show, the PLA focused on showing off its air strength, with Taiwan reporting more than 200 flights by Chinese warplanes in the past three days. Chinese state broadcaster CCTV, citing the People's Liberation Army, said the exercises are simulating the joint sealing off of Taiwan as well as waves of simulated strikes at important targets on the island. China is conducting a second day of military drills around Taiwan. Fighter planes took off from Taiwan's airbase with the Air Force's Mirage 2000s. Sending 71 planes into Taiwan's airspace and at least nine Chinese warships. One wrong move and it blows up. The PLA also practiced encircling timing for the first time. Here's an encounter where a Taiwanese ship is warning a Chinese vessel. Many experts believe that the CCP is using a show of force to practice how they would execute a full-on invasion. They did similar exercises back in August when Pelosi visited the island. This time around, though, the exercise wasn't as intense as the last time, and there's a secret reason for that. The CCP has other plans. The CCP wants to show they can take Taiwan forcefully, but they don't want to take it forcefully. You see, doing it forcefully could go wrong very quickly. China has seen how Russia's attempt is playing out in Ukraine. In fact, the US Navy sent a destroyer close to Chinese islands in the South China Sea while China was busy doing its little military show of force around Taiwan. Additionally, the U.S. will carry out its biggest ever joint naval exercises with the Philippines starting on Tuesday. That's why the CCP wants to take over Taiwan internally. You see, Taiwan is just 10 months away from a presidential election that Beijing wants the opposition to win. 
the Kuomintang KMT promotes friendlier ties with China as a way to keep the peace, and accuses Tsai Ing-wen's DPP of bringing Taiwan closer to conflict with its U.S.-focused efforts. As Tsai Ing-wen toured the U.S., Guatemala, and Belize, the KMT's former president, Ma Ying-jiao, went to China on a mission to bolster people-to-people -people exchanges and cross-strait relations. The dueling foreign visits provided a clear delineation between the different approaches for relations. This is where the CCP is hoping that the KMT wins the next election, because it makes Xi's reunification goal a little bit easier. But the issue is, the CCP is the one making the peaceful reunification harder for itself. You see, the CCP is in quite a pickle. Every time the CCP does these aggressive military exercises, it pushes the Taiwanese people towards independence and the party that supports it, the DPP. So the CCP wants the KMT to win, but its actions help its opposition. So why would the CCP do these exercises if it doesn't really want to invade? As I've talked about in my previous videos, the CCP has stayed in power by stoking nationalism among its citizens. So it has to react aggressively to the smallest of actions because they don't want their supporters to think the CCP isn't strong enough to rule China. So, like I said before, the CCP is in quite a pickle. I'm sure there will be another military exercise in a few months, and I'll be back to explain that one too. In the meantime, if you guys are interested in learning how you can build your own YouTube channel without showing your face, check out YouTube Basics Academy by clicking the link below. Use the code TAIWAN for $100 off your purchase.